here to collect a fee for the barber. And what kind of game you playing here? The kind where you pay what you owe when you don't get hurt. You got a problem with that? I got a problem with you. Now get out of here before I kick your ass. Come on, you little baby! Here's your fucking money. Yeah, glad you decided to reconsider. Oh, yeah, I got this guy already. This guy already paid. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Uh, yeah. I must have forgot or something. Next time, try to pay on time, okay? Thanks. Hey. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Sure, here it is. I don't want no problems. Don't leave it until the last minute next time. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Look, asshole. I'm not in the mood. Why don't you get out of my face before you get hurt? Ah, no can do, pal. Derek wants his money. Derek can kiss my ass. What's that fat fuck gonna do? Have me killed? Hey, you said it, not me. Why don't you give it a try then, asshole? Okay. Anybody else got a fucking problem with paying for the fucking barber? Oh, yeah, I got this guy already. This guy already paid. Oh, yeah, I got this guy already. Oh, yeah, I got this guy already. This guy already paid. Here's the money, boss man. Good job. Here's your share. I watched you take care of Bill. You were good. Steve damn near got his ass kicked when he tried that. Right, Steve? Yeah, right, Derek. Here's a bonus for sorting him out. Thanks. The guy's been a real fucking pain. Now get out of here, kid. I gotta be getting back to business. Say hello to your mother for me. Tell her you got yourself a job as my new assistant. Yeah, we will do. I'll see you later. And Vito, I almost forgot. Joe called. He wants you should meet him at Freddy's.
Ain't got nothing else for you right now, kid. That's all I got for today. Are you looking to buy a gun, or you just need some ammo? ...during Operation Bodenplatt just over a month ago. German Luftwaffe planes surged in early morning to the surprise of Allied forces in France, Belgium, and Holland. 200 Allied aircraft were destroyed, and another 150 were damaged before Allied fighter pilots took to the skies to exact swift retribution... Adios! Gotta last me all the week.
Hey, how you doing? One beer coming up. Yeah, what can I get you? Myself, right in the basement. There you go, drink up. You want something to drink? Hey, not for nothing, but uh, don't you think you have enough? Hey, where the hell you been? I came right over as soon as you called. What's going on? You remember the wise guys we used to see when we was kids? Yeah, why? The guy we're meeting here is one of them. His name's Henry Tomasino. I think he's got something big for us. Yeah, no shit? Yeah. We're done with the small-time jobs. It's time to make some real shuttle. Here, he's coming. Don't say nothing stupid. Hey, Henry, how are you? Hi, Joe. This the guy? Yeah, this is Vito, an old friend of mine. Good to meet you, Henry. You vouch for him? Absolutely, Henry. Trust him with my life. Okay, listen, I got a job for you. The money's good. I need gas stamps. They're worth the fortune now because of the gas shortage. Where can we get them? In the Office of Price Administration. Uh, that's a federal government agency. Isn't that a little risky? What? Too much for you? No, no, no. Just trying to think of how we can pull it off. Ah, it can't be that hard. The stamps are kept in the safe at night, but the keys are probably around here somewhere. You got somebody inside? 
Yeah, one of our guys. His sister works here. Can she help us out? Ask her yourself. Her name's Maria Agnello. Here's the address. Tell her I say it. All right, what about the safe? What if the keys aren't there? That's your problem. But what's the job pay? I'll give you 600 bucks for 10,000 gallons worth of stamps. Okay, we're in. No, no, I need Vito to do this alone. I got another job for you, Joe. So, what do you say, Vito? Yeah, sure. Hey, and don't forget to take a piece with you. You never know what's gonna happen. Better to be safe than sorry. I got beef. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't some liquor store stick-up. I want this to be a clean job. If you kill anybody, your cut drops to a third. Gabish? Yeah, I got it. No problem. Okay, when you're done, you come back in, we'll settle up. All right, I'll see Good you. luck, Vito. Joe and I have some business to discuss. Yeah, what can I get you? Is there anything else I can get for you? Yeah, see you around. Your money's always... More food for you. When he plays Reveille, he's the boogie woogie bugle boy of Company B. A toot, a toot, and he had a toot because it ain't to the bar. In boogie rhythm, he can't blow a note unless the bass and guitar is playing with him. He makes a company jump when he plays Reveille. He's the boogie woogie bugle boy of Company B. He was a boogie woogie bugle boy. Best year of Sid City. Place, he makes a company jump. Tiger reminds me of my papa. What are you looking at? Excuse me. Thank you.
Yeah, can I help you? Yeah, hello, ma'am. Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me. He said you might be able to help me with a little problem down at the Office of Price Administration. Yeah, I heard about that. What do you need from me? Uh, I need to get in there tonight. All right, tell you what. My sister's in the hospital right now. If you give me a lift over there, I'll tell you everything you need to know. It's right across the street from the OPA, so it ain't like you're gonna be going out of your way. Sure, no problem. Thank you. Okay, let's go. And take it easy behind the wheel, all right? I seen the way you kids drive these days. All right, kid. The place is locked up pretty tight at night, so you gotta get into the back. They keep the back door open at night? No, but the basement window usually is, so that's how you can get in. You're looking for the safe, right? Yeah, how'd you know? Lucky guess. It's on the top floor. So's the director's office. That's where the keys are. Okay. So I go in through a window around the back, then head upstairs to the director's office, right? Right. And be careful, there's guards in there at night. Don't let them see you. All right, kid. Drop me at the hospital right here. The office is across the street. Okay, thanks for the ride, kid. Thanks, Maria. I'll see you.
Uh, can I help you with something? plans for the weekend? Yeah. Go to relax and watch me some television. Well, you bought a television? I sure did. Man, those things cost as much as a car. How the hell did you afford it? Mary's uncle passed away a few months back and some cash. And you bought okay. yourself a this television. This is the director's office. This is where the key should be. Here's the key. Now I gotta get to the safe. white screen gets all three channels. Wow, sounds fascinating. What, you mean you ain't gonna get one? I'll stick with my newspaper and with my radio, thank you very much. This television's just a fad. We'll see about that, sonny. Yeah, so what does Mary think of it? 
She, uh, she ain't seen it yet. on that fancy television set of yours? Mostly cartoons. They ain't got much on right now, on account of the war. Cartoons? All that money to watch some cartoons. The salesman said when the war's over, they're supposed to start showing ball games on it, too. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. But listen, I was watching them cartoons, and they give me an idea. Oh, here we go. Okay, Einstein, let's hear it. That sounds interesting, but it ain't never gonna happen. Oh, yeah? I'm sure someone will figure it out someday, and you can mark my words on that. Uh-huh. Sure they will. Right after they put a guy on the moon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. I'm gonna get back to my crosswood puzzle here. Yeah, all right. Don't hurt yourself with that number two pencil. Bay Police Department. We have you surrounded. Come out with your hands up. If you do not surrender immediately, we will open fire. 